So, as you know, I've been on a bit of a warpath against these scammers, the phishing links and, you know, these malicious actors. And I thought this is a good idea for another community project that will be uploaded to the same um, GitHub repository or might be a separate one. It'll be all in the description. Essentially, this is a Python script that is a call flooder. So the idea is you can lease numbers from a platform called Twilio. And bear in mind, it's not the best website ever. And the reason for that is, I'll just mention now, is that I got this email saying I'm basically banned from using their services permanently forever. So <laughs> if you can get onto Twilio, then I recommend using the script. You might find it useful. I thought I'd still make this video now because it ruined the other one where I was actually going to flood a call center. But, you know, if you've got a Twilio account and it's a community project, I will fund it if I can use the account SID and auth token essentially and upload the MP3 file. So this is what the script looks like. It uses Twilio. You need to import it. So pip install Twilio. That'll be in a requirements.txt on the GitHub anyway, eventually. Um, the account SID and auth token is what Twilio would provide to you. Um, you need to keep that secret so people don't really know what it is. This is just random um, string. So don't worry, this isn't my own account. My account's been banned anyway. But um, this means absolutely nothing. But if you get your one, just make sure you don't like accidentally upload it to GitHub um, as like a pull request or you know your own repository because you don't want people having access to this. Otherwise, they can make calls on your behalf using your money. The uh, voice ML variable is basically just a link directly to the .mp3 or WAV file of the audio that you want the scammers to hear when they answer the call. So if you're flooding them with 20 calls a second, as soon as they answer the call, they'll hear, they will hear something like this. Hello, I have detected illegal scammer operations. I am flooding your scam center to prevent innocent people being scammed. Refund all victims immediately, otherwise I will not stop. So that's the idea of what they would hear and it would just get on their nerves because it would be like 20 calls a second. It depends how many you lease, the more you lease obviously the more money it's going to cost you. Um, and then it's just got a function, it, this is provided actually by Twilio, you know the, the developers docs. Um, essentially it creates a call, the record uh, variable is true so you can actually hear what they say eventually after the call's ended it goes into the assets document or assets folder on your Twilio account. And then it starts, it starts a call to the um, number that you enter, the, the scammer's number. And it basically just repeats and goes through each batch of numbers and keeps repeating and repeating and repeating until like they basically give up. Um, it all depends on your budget, really. Um, I was going to start off with about $200 um, and try it, but unfortunately I can't because Twilio is just not letting me have access to an account uh, they seem to be quite strict with just allowing new random accounts anyway um, but I thought you know what like I said I'll still share this code with everyone because it's you know it's useful it's it's a good learning tool as well so you, you can see how you can just create things from Python and C++ um, and do some good in the world you know what I mean if you flood a uh, scam call center and they get annoyed with you and at the same time, you're also preventing innocent people from losing their life savings, then um, it's, you know, I think it's a good thing. So essentially, it just starts the call, um, it goes through each call. So if I run this, you'll see uh, call center helper, enter the target number um, that you want to flood, but the country code must be at the start. So for me, it's plus four, four, and you remove the zero after an initial number. So if it's a personal number, it'll be 07. 957 blah 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 um, but in this case it would just be 7957 uh, or 67 it doesn't really matter and then the rest of the number so I think for America it's plus one and then you'd add the full number so the country code must be at the start if I just enter one now uh, I'll just type anything if I click enter it says press enter to start the flooder so it gives you a second chance click enter and then it says start, um, starting call, batch number one, four different numbers. So it'll go through each batch until, you know, it's unlimited until you stop it, basically. Now, it's going to say error on this one from uh, this the, each source number. But you can see it's going incrementing to each number. And um, it's giving a 401 error because it cannot authenticate, hence why. Because my account's been banned on Twilio. Um, 
But if it was real, it would come back with a response. And then this is basically what it would look like. You'd be flooding the system um, with Python and Twilio. So I will upload this um, to GitHub. People can contribute to it. The links for everything will be in the description again. And thank you for all the support and I'll see you all in the next video.